Have you ever found yourself lying awake at night, consumed by worries that seem to multiply with each passing hour? Do you feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, unsure of where to turn for relief? If so, you're not alone. Worry is like a relentless tide, threatening to sweep us away in its undertow. But fear not, for there is hope on the horizon, a beacon of light, cutting through the darkness of despair. Today, we embark on a journey together, a journey of letting go, of finding peace, and of trusting in a power greater than ourselves. So, if you're ready to break free from the chains of worry and embrace a life filled with hope and faith, then join me as we explore the transformative power of stillness and trust in the divine. My friend, if you're here, chances are you're familiar with the relentless grip of worry. But fear not, for in the midst of life's storms, there is a beacon of hope shining brightly for you. Worry, like a shadow, often follows us wherever we go. It whispers doubts in our ears and casts clouds over our brightest moments. But here's the thing about worry. It's a thief. It steals our joy, our peace, and our faith if we let it. And that's why we're here today, to reclaim what worry has stolen from us. But before we delve deeper, I want you to know that at the end of this message, there's a powerful prayer waiting for you. So, stay with me till the end, and let's discover the transformative power of stillness and faith. Remember, you are not alone in your struggles. Together, we will navigate the turbulent waters of worry and uncertainty, guided by a light that never fades. So, take my hand, dear friend, and let's journey onward to a place of peace and trust. Acknowledging Worry Worry is like a thief in the night, sneaking into your mind and stealing your peace. It's that nagging voice that whispers doubts and fears, casting shadows where there should be light. But here's the thing, my friend. Acknowledging your worry is the first step towards finding freedom from its grasp. When you recognize that you're feeling anxious or overwhelmed, you're already halfway to overcoming it. It's okay to feel scared or uncertain about the future. After all, we're only human. But what sets you apart is your willingness to confront those feelings head on. Instead of pushing your worries aside or pretending they don't exist, take a moment to sit with them. Acknowledge them for what they are temporary thoughts and emotions that do not define you. By shining a light on your worries, you diminish their power over you. But don't stop there. Once you've acknowledged your worries, it's time to challenge them. Ask yourself, are these fears based in reality, or are they simply figments of my imagination? More often than not, you'll find that your worries are unfounded, rooted in what-ifs, and worst-case scenarios. By acknowledging your worry and questioning its validity, you take back control of your mind. You become the master of your thoughts rather than allowing your worries to dictate your actions. And in that moment of empowerment, you pave the way for peace to enter your heart. So, my friend, don't be afraid to face your worries head on. Acknowledge them, challenge them, and then release them into the loving arms of God. For in him, there is freedom from fear, and in his presence, there is perfect peace. Keep pressing forward, knowing that brighter days lie ahead. And remember, you are never alone in your struggles. God is with you, every step of the way, guiding you, comforting you, and leading you to a place of wholeness and joy. The Power of Stillness Amidst the chaos of life, there is immense power in stillness, that goes beyond what meets the eye. When you pause amidst the rush of life, you create a sacred space where clarity emerges from the fog of uncertainty. It's in these moments of quiet reflection that you can hear the whispers of your soul and the gentle guidance of the divine. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, stillness may seem like a luxury reserved for the few, but it's actually a necessity for all. Just as a river, 
needs moments of calm to flow smoothly. So too do you need moments of stillness to navigate the currents of life with grace and ease. But stillness isn't just about physical quietude. It's a state of mind and heart. It's about finding peace amidst the noise, about tuning out the distractions, and tuning into the rhythm of your own heartbeat. It's about being fully present in the moment, letting go of worries about the past and anxieties about the future. When you embrace stillness, you give yourself the gift of clarity. Suddenly, problems that once seemed insurmountable become manageable. Solutions that once eluded you now reveal themselves with crystal clarity. You begin to see the world with fresh eyes to appreciate the beauty that surrounds you and to discern the path that lies ahead. But perhaps most importantly, stillness opens the door to the presence of God. In the quiet moments of your life, you can feel His loving embrace, His gentle guidance, His unwavering presence. It's in these moments that you realize you are never alone, that He walks beside you every step of the way, offering comfort, strength, and hope. So, dear friend, I urge you to embrace stillness in your life. Carve out moments of quiet amidst the noise. Find solace in the silence. And know that in the stillness, you will find the answers you seek, the peace you crave, and the presence of God who whispers to your soul, be still and know that I am God. Trusting in God. Now, my friend, let's dive deeper into the essence of trusting in God. It's not merely a passive act, but an active surrender of our will to His divine plan. When we trust in God, we acknowledge His sovereignty over our lives. We recognize that He knows what's best for us, even when we can't see the bigger picture. Trusting in God means believing that He is always working for our good, even in the midst of trials and tribulations. It's holding on to hope when circumstances seem bleak, knowing that He is a God of miracles who can turn our darkest nights into the dawn of a new day. But trust doesn't come easily, does it? It requires us to let go of our own understanding and to lean on His wisdom instead. It's a daily surrender, a conscious choice to place our faith in His unfailing love and faithfulness. Think about it this way. When you board a plane, you trust the pilot to safely navigate you to your destination, right? In the same way, trusting in God is like handing over the controls of your life to the ultimate navigator. He sees the storms before they even arise and knows the best route to take. And here's the beautiful thing about trusting in God. It's a two-way street. As you place your trust in Him, He lavishes you with His peace that surpasses all understanding. It's a peace that anchors your soul amidst life's tumultuous seas, a peace that whispers, Be still, for I am with you. So, my friend, let go of your worries and fears. Trust in the God who holds the universe in His hands and watch as He makes a way where there seems to be no way. For when you trust in Him wholeheartedly, you'll find that He is indeed faithful to His promises now and forevermore. Letting go of control. Trying to control every aspect of your life is like trying to catch the wind, futile and exhausting. When we cling tightly to the illusion of control, we often find ourselves more anxious and frustrated than ever before. You see, dear friend, control is merely an illusion, a mirage that promises security, but delivers only stress. The truth is, there are countless variables in life that are simply beyond our control. From the weather to the actions of others, there are so many factors that we cannot influence, no matter how hard we try. But here's the beautiful paradox. In letting go of control, we find true freedom. When we release our grip on the reins and surrender to the flow of life, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. We become like a sailboat catching the wind, guided by the currents of grace and providence. Letting go of control doesn't mean relinquishing responsibility or passively accepting whatever comes our way. 
Rather, it's about embracing a mindset of trust and surrender. It's about recognizing that while we may not have control over every circumstance, we do have control over how we choose to respond. So, dear friend, I invite you to loosen your grip on the illusion of control. Trust in the wisdom and providence of a loving God who holds the universe in His hands. Know that He is working all things together for your good, even when the path ahead seems unclear. When we let go of control and place our trust in God, we free ourselves from the burdens of worry and anxiety. We step into a place of peace and surrender where we can rest in the knowledge that we are held and supported by a power greater than ourselves. So today, I encourage you to release your worries into the hands of the divine. Let go of the need to control every outcome and instead trust that God will make a way for you. Surrender to His loving guidance and watch His miracles unfold in your life. In letting go of control, we find freedom. In surrendering to God's plan, we find peace. So embrace the journey of trust and surrender, knowing that you are held in the palm of His hand. Finding Peace in Uncertainty In a world filled with uncertainty, finding peace can feel like searching for a needle in a haystack. But amidst the chaos and confusion, there is a profound truth that anchors our souls. God is in control. Think about it this way. When you're sailing on a stormy sea, it's easy to get swept away by the crashing waves and howling winds. But if you anchor your boat securely to a sturdy rock, you can ride out the storm with confidence, knowing that you are safe and secure. In the same way, God is our anchor in the stormy seas of life. His love is unwavering, His promise is unshakable. Even when everything around us seems to be falling apart, we can find solace in the unchanging nature of His character. But how do we tap into this peace that surpasses all understanding? It starts with surrender. Instead of trying to wrestle control away from God, we must relinquish our grip and trust in His sovereign plan. Picture a child holding tightly to a helium balloon. As long as they cling to it, with all their might, the balloon can't soar as high as it's meant to. But once they release their grasp and let it go, the balloon floats effortlessly into the sky. Similarly, when we release our worries and fears into God's hands, we free ourselves to experience the fullness of His peace. It's a daily choice, a moment-by-moment -moment surrendering of our will to His. And as we surrender, we begin to see glimpses of His hand at work in our lives. We may not always understand His ways or His timing, but we can trust that He is weaving together a beautiful tapestry out of the threads of our lives. So, dear friend, if you're feeling overwhelmed by the uncertainties of life, take heart. You are not alone, and you are not without hope. God is with you, in the midst of the storm, guiding you, protecting you, and leading you into His perfect peace. Practicing Gratitude Amidst the storm clouds, remember to count your blessings. Cultivate a heart of gratitude, focusing on the goodness that surrounds you. It's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of worries, but taking a moment to pause and reflect on the things you're thankful for, can shift your perspective in powerful ways. Gratitude isn't just a fleeting feeling, it's a mindset, a way of life. It's about recognizing the small miracles that happen each day, the warmth of the sun on your face, the laughter of loved ones, the kindness of strangers. These are the threads that weave together, the tapestry of your life, and when you take the time to appreciate them, you'll find that your worries begin to lose their grip. Even in the midst of hardship, there is always something to be grateful for. Perhaps it's the strength you find within yourself to keep going, or the lessons learned through adversity. Even the darkest moments hold the seeds of growth and transformation, if only we have eyes to see. So, as you navigate the twists and turns of life's journey, 
Make gratitude a daily practice. Start a gratitude journal where you can jot down three things you're thankful for each day. Share your blessings with others, whether through acts of kindness or simply by offering a word of encouragement. The more you cultivate gratitude, the more abundant your life will feel. And remember, gratitude isn't just about acknowledging the good things in your life. It's also about finding beauty in the challenges. Every obstacle is an opportunity for growth, every setback a chance to learn and evolve. Embrace each moment, both the highs and the lows, with an open heart and a spirit of thankfulness. In the words of the ancient psalmist, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, His love endures forever. So, let us give thanks, dear friend, for the countless blessings that surround us each day. And may our hearts overflow with gratitude, even in the midst of life's storms. Seeking Support You don't have to walk this journey alone. Surround yourself with a community of faith, where love and support abound. But what does seeking support really mean? It's more than just having someone to talk to. It's about finding strength and unity, finding comfort in shared beliefs, and finding hope in the midst of trials. In times of worry and uncertainty, reaching out to others can feel like a lifeline. Whether it's a trusted friend, a wise mentor, or a compassionate pastor, having someone to lean on can make all the difference. Don't be afraid to open up about your struggles, for vulnerability is not a sign of weakness but of courage. And let's not forget the power of prayer in seeking support. When you're feeling overwhelmed, Take a moment to bow your head and lift your concerns to God. He hears your cries, He feels your pain, and He longs to bring you comfort in your time of need. And when you join with others in prayer, there is a special kind of strength that comes from knowing you're not alone. But seeking support isn't just about receiving, it's also about giving. Be a source of encouragement to those around you, offering a listening ear a shoulder to cry on, and a word of hope. In lifting others up, you'll find that your own burdens become lighter and your heart becomes fuller. So, dear friend, don't hesitate to seek out the support you need. Whether it's through a small group, a prayer circle, or simply a heartfelt conversation with a loved one, know that you are never alone on this journey. Together, we can lift each other up, strengthen each other's faith, and walk hand in hand through the storms of life. Taking action. While trusting in God is paramount, it's also essential to understand that faith without action is like a ship without a sail. Yes, God has a plan for you, but he also expects you to play your part in bringing that plan to fruition. So what does taking action look like in the context of trusting God? Firstly, it means seeking guidance through prayer and scripture. When faced with tough decisions or uncertain paths, turn to God in prayer, seeking His wisdom and clarity. His word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, offering guidance and direction in times of confusion. Secondly, taking action involves stepping out in faith, even when the way forward seems unclear. Trust that God will equip you with everything you need to accomplish His purposes. Remember the story of David and Goliath? Despite facing insurmountable odds, David stepped forward in faith, knowing that God was with him. Likewise, have the courage to step out of your comfort zone, trusting that God will provide the strength and courage you need. Thirdly, taking action requires perseverance and resilience in the face of adversity. There will undoubtedly be challenges along the way, but don't let fear or doubt hold you back. Remember the words of Joshua 1 verse 9, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. With God by your side, you can overcome any obstacle that stands in your way. Lastly, Taking action means being open to God's leading and willing to adjust course as He directs. Sometimes, 
God's plans may not align with our own, and that's okay. Trust that His ways are higher than our ways and His thoughts than our thoughts. Isaiah 55 verses 8 to 9. Stay flexible, keep an open heart, and be willing to follow wherever God leads, knowing that His plans are always for our good. So, dear friend, as you journey forward in faith, remember to take action with boldness and confidence, knowing that God is with you every step of the way. Trust in His guidance, rely on His strength, and watch as He works wonders in your life. Finding Comfort in Scripture Let the timeless words of Scripture be a source of strength and encouragement for you. In the Psalms, penned by ancient poets and prophets, we find raw, unfiltered expressions of human emotion, joy, sorrow, fear, and faith, all laid bare before the Creator. As you read through these poetic verses, you'll discover echoes of your own struggles and triumphs, resonating with the depths of your soul. Turn to Psalm 23, often called the Shepherd's Psalm, and be reminded of God's tender care and provision in the midst of life's valleys and shadows. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. These words offer solace in times of uncertainty, assuring us that we are never alone, even in our darkest moments. In the Gospels, the stories of Jesus Christ leap off the pages with unparalleled compassion and grace. Take, for example, the account of Jesus calming the stormy sea. As the disciples trembled with fear amidst the crashing waves, Jesus spoke with authority, commanding the winds and the waves to be still. In this miraculous moment, we see a powerful reminder of God's sovereignty over the storms of life. Just as He calmed the sea with a word, He can calm the turmoil within your heart. Explore the wisdom literature of the Old Testament, where timeless truths await your discovery. In the book of Proverbs, you'll find practical wisdom for navigating life's twists and turns. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. These words offer a roadmap for trust and obedience, guiding us towards a life of peace and prosperity. Delve into the epistles of the New Testament, where the apostles offer words of encouragement and exhortation to early believers. In the letter to the Philippians, the Apostle Paul writes from a place of deep gratitude and joy, despite his circumstances. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. These words serve as a beacon of hope, illuminating the path towards true peace and contentment. As you immerse yourself in the scriptures, allow the Holy Spirit to speak to your heart guiding you into all truth. May the words of Scripture bring comfort to your soul, strength to your spirit, and faith to your journey. For in God's Word, you will find all that you need for life and godliness. Reflection and Prayer As we draw near to the end of our journey together, I invite you to spend some time in deep reflection and earnest prayer. Take a moment to look inward to examine your heart with honesty and vulnerability. Reflect on the challenges you've faced, the fears that have held you captive, and the hopes that flicker within you. In this sacred space of reflection, allow yourself to be still, to silence the noise of the world, and listen to the whispers of your soul. What is it that weighs heaviest on your heart? What dreams lie dormant, waiting to be awakened? Lay it all bare before God, for He is the gentlest of listeners, the kindest of confidants. And as you pour out your heart in prayer, remember that you are not alone in your struggles. God is with you, always, His presence surrounding you like a warm embrace. Share your worries, your doubts, your deepest desires with Him, knowing that He cares for you.
with a love beyond measure. But prayer is not merely about speaking, it is also about listening. Take time to quiet your mind, to open your heart to God's gentle whispers. Perhaps He will speak to you, through the words of Scripture, or through the gentle nudges of your conscience. Be open to His guidance, His wisdom, His love. And as you emerge from this time of reflection and prayer, may you carry with you a renewed sense of hope, of peace, of trust in God's unfailing goodness. For in the stillness of prayer, miracles happen, hearts are healed, lives are transformed. So, dear friend, I encourage you to make prayer a daily practice, a sacred ritual of connection with the divine. Set aside time each day to commune with God, to surrender your worries and fears, and to receive His peace that surpasses all understanding. And know that as you journey onward, you do not walk alone. God is with you, guiding you, sustaining you, every step of the way. Trust in Him, dear friend, for He is faithful, and He will indeed make a way for you. Now, in this moment of prayer, let's bow our heads and say this prayer of surrender and trust. Gracious and loving God, in this moment of stillness and prayer, we come before you, with hearts heavy with worry and minds burdened with fear. Yet, in the midst of our struggles, we find solace in the knowledge that you are ever-present, ever-loving, and ever-faithful. Lord, we confess our tendency to allow worry to consume us, to cloud our vision and dampen our spirits. We acknowledge that our human frailty often leads us to doubt your goodness and your provision. But today, in this sacred space of prayer, we choose to lay down our worries at your feet. Father, we surrender to you all that weighs heavily upon us, the uncertainties of tomorrow, the burdens of today, and the regrets of yesterday. Take our anxieties, Lord, and replace them with your perfect peace, a peace that transcends understanding and calms even the most troubled hearts. Help us, O oh God, to trust in your unfailing love and unwavering faithfulness. Teach us to be still in your presence, knowing that you are in control of all things. Give us the courage to release our grip on the illusion of control and to embrace wholeheartedly your sovereign plan for our lives. In moments of weakness, when doubt threatens to overwhelm us, remind us of your promises, promises of hope, of peace, and of a future filled with your goodness. May your word be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, guiding us through the darkest of nights and the stormiest of seas. Lord, help us to cultivate hearts of gratitude, even in the midst of adversity. Open our eyes to the countless blessings that surround us each day, the beauty of creation, the love of family and friends, and the gift of life itself. May thanksgiving overflow from our hearts as we recognize your goodness in all things. Heavenly Father, we lift up to you those who are struggling with worry and anxiety, those who feel overwhelmed by the challenges of life. Pour out your comfort and your peace upon them and grant them the strength to trust in your provision and your protection. As we journey forward, may we walk in faith, knowing that you are always by our side. Give us the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow where you lead. May our lives be a testament to your grace and your glory, shining brightly in a world desperately in need of your love. And now, Lord, we offer up this prayer as a fragrant offering, trusting that you hear the cries of our hearts and that you will answer according to your perfect wisdom and timing. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer, we pray, Amen. Dear friend, as we come to the close of our time together, I urge you to hold fast to the truths we've explored today. Stop worrying, be still, and trust that God will make a way for you. May His peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard your heart and mind now and always. And remember, if this message has touched your heart, don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more inspirational content. Together, 
let's spread hope and light in a world that so desperately needs it. God bless you abundantly.